Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. There's your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Oxbow Olympians tonight. Second, uh, third game of the season, second one in a row here at home. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Opening tip moments away. Sponsors Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future at GMTCC. Opening tip. Controlled by the Cats. The Cats coming off a nice home opening win over Danville here the other night after losing on the road to Enosburg last week. Looking to push their record up to a little bit. Caitlin Davison puts down a three right off. Caitlin had 26 points against the Danville Bears the other night. Great game by Caitlin Davison. Try and match up some names and numbers. That was Natalie Spear. And she'll go to the line. Foul called on Tessa Luther. Spear is a freshman for the Olympians. Young team. Uh, freshmen to the sophomores. Do not recall calling a junior or senior in the opening lineup. Spear short on her first one. Olympians making the trip up I-91 from Bradford. Spear second shot off the back of the rim. Rebound. Uh, Oxbow, but Tessa Luther comes away with it. The barefoot Contessa over to Caitlin Davison. Tessa loses it, gets it back. Pitches out, Alexis Christensen over here to Caitlin. Caitlin can try another three-pointer, in and out. Rebound, Ella Gillespie. Ella coming to us via Craftsbury. Her and uh, Sadie Scorstead. Helping flesh out the Wildcats roster, courtesy of Craftsbury. Seen that happen a number of times the past years. Nice thing that uh, the VPA is allowing nowadays. Shot. Three-pointer made by Braley Phelps. Ties the score up. 6.48 left to go here in the first. Student section out in full force again tonight. Nice to see. We were to have the Dave Morris Classic uh, Constellation game and championship game tomorrow night. It's going to be Saturday, postponed due to weather. Haley Mitchell, nothing but net for the hailstorm. Cats press. Talked to Coach Lumsden before the game. He said the uh, key to tonight's game, there's a shot, doesn't go. Travel. Travel call by referee Glenn Jingris. Uh, Coach Lumpton said the key to the game is going to be controlling the pace and rebounding. Going to have to hit the boards. Mitch at far side. Back over to Tessa. Tessa throws up a shot, doesn't go. Shot doesn't go either. Rebound. That is uh, Libby Swift, a sophomore. Oxbow's got some height underneath there. Libby Swift's a tall girl. Driving up in. Spear back up again. And we're seeing them sort of, uh, I, I would say they've somewhat controlled the boards so far in this game. Oxbow is. And uh, as we know, that's one of Coach Lumsden's keys. So we're going to have to control them. 5.27 left to go in the first. 5.3 is your score. Hazen up by two. Knocked out of bounds. Oxbow set it up again. Anastas Bourgeois on the inbounds. Gets it to Ellsworth. Out of bounds. Hazen creates a turnover.
Lady Cats will return here to the Den next Monday to host the Richford Falcons. Tie up, jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Olympians. Isabel Gowan checks in, Haley Mitchett out. Isabella Freshman, super quick. Oxbow. Bourgeois. Back to Phelps. This is Spear. Spear. Cross court underneath. Nothing there. Nice, nice pass. Nice attempt. So Alexis Christensen. Can't get that one to drop. And that is Ella Gillespie with a rebound. And the hoop puts the Cats up four. 4.35 left. Steal. Davison. Get right away. Spears down. Tie up. And Spear was down. I don't know if she caught an elbow or something there. Let me see what happened. Caitlin went in and kind of wrestled the ball away from her, but I didn't see what happened. Natalie Spear, a freshman for the Olympians here. 4.31 left to go here in the first period. Cats up 7-3. Got Braley Phelps with the three points. And Spears up. She's going to come out. And uh, Braley Phelps scored a three for the Oxbow Olympians. We have Caitlin Davison with three. Ella Gillespie with two. Haley Mitchell with two. And... I believe that's Noel Koslowski. Get my picture up here. Christensen on the inbounds. Davison shot. Caitlin Davison makes it five points and a six point lead. Underneath pass gets almost gets by Ellsworth. Shot up, rolls in. I didn't see who got it. I'm trying to get it here. I think it was, I believe it was Ellsworth. That's who I'm going to give it to. Hazen working the ball. Underneath, Tessa wide open. Tough shot from right underneath there. Foul called on Ellsworth, her first. Going to send Tessa to the line. Shooting two. Makes her first one. Second one, good. Tessa Luther with two. Makes an 11-5 game. Cats pressing. Ball taken away by Davison. Taken back away by Ellsworth. Picked up by Bourgeois. Swings it over to Ellsworth. Ellsworth wants to drive. Puts up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Underneath by Swift. We've got a jump ball possession here. We'll give the ball to the Olympians. Up, taken away. Kozlowski was trying to go up, and uh, Ella took it right away from her. It's going to go coast to coast. And they're going to call Ella on the charge. Says referee Jason Premont. Much to the chagrin of the student section. 
That was first foul. Phelps on the inbounds. Gets it to Ellsworth. Tessa and Caitlin double team. Caitlin ties her up. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Cats. Gillespie doesn't go. Rebound. Caitlin back out. Gillespie going to try again. Nothing there. Caitlin trying to get the rebound. Working uh, with uh, Penatazer, I think is the name I have here. Panatzer, sorry, Panatzer. Buzwa on the inbound. No, that's uh, Phelps. Ended up uh, traveling. Did Braley Phelps. And we're going to get a timeout taken. Timeout taken by Oxbow coach Jake Clark. 2.52 left to go here in the first. Cats up 11 to 5 here at the Den. It has been uh, quite a week for basketball. We had the girls open up their season uh, Tuesday night against Danville. The boys punched their ticket to the championship game for the Dave Morris Classic. They'll be facing Lamoille. 7 o'clock tip-off on Saturday. It'll be Williamstown and Randolph playing a consolation game at 5.30. Then in between games, a huge, 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 huge celebration for uh, we're going to be unfurling uh, last year's uh, championship team, the, the, the championship banner. Uh, we're going to have teams and players coming in from all over the country from all of our previous championship seasons, going back to the 80s and 90s, up in the early 2000s. And uh, it's going to be a good time. Gonna be a good time. Pass inside, Caitlin. Doesn't get that one to roll. Looking forward to that one. To that, to Saturday night. It's gonna be a good time. Christensen doesn't get it to drop either. Jim, do you think I'll let everybody know that Saturday night is gonna be a really good time? <laughs> Christensen on the inbounds. Gets it inside. She was looking for uh, Gillespie. Couldn't quite come up with it. Olympians come out. Ellsworth. Drops it off to Phelps. Back to Ellsworth. Ellsworth puts up a shot. No sh I'm going to call her on a charge. I don't know. Jay Clark wants an explanation. He's saying she extended the arm. Says referee Jason Premont. Caitlin, top of the key. Doesn't drop. Rebound. Oxbow. Gowan. Isabel Gowan makes it an eight point lead. Here's Ellsworth. Working against Davison. Cross courts. Goes to Kozlowski. Back to Phelps. Here's Ellsworth. Puts up a shot. Nothing but net for Maggie Ellsworth. Nice looking shot. Four points for the sophomore. Cuts the lead to six. 115 left to go in the first. That ball goes by. Caitlin's going to roll out of bound, and I believe it will be Oxbow ball. As uh, Natalie Spears is going to check back in. And who is that? Uh, Bourgeois comes out. Spear. Here's Ellsworth, puts up a shot again. She made it from there last time, didn't drop that time though. Rebound. Spear. Good 
gets it to Phelps. Phelps looking to go cross court to Spear, but there were two white jerseys right there. Davison up, doesn't go. Rebound, Oxbow. Phelps with the rebound, gets it over here to Ellsworth. Ellsworth working against, oh, she was, had Alexis for a moment, now it's Caitlin. Gets it to Phelps. Nobody inside, back to Spear, cross court, Ellsworth. Swinging it, nice cut. Nice cut by Phelps, wanted a foul. The entire Oxbow bench wanted a foul, didn't get it. Glenn Dringer standing right there. Long shot, Caitlin, rebound, Spear. And at the end of one, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading by a score of 13 to seven. And uh, sort of a rough first quarter there, kind of physical play right there. Uh, Isabel Gowan with two, Tessa Luther with two, Caitlin Davison with five, Ella Gillespie with two, Haley Mitchum with two, so nice balanced scoring uh, for the Lady Cats. Maggie Ellsworth has four, and Bradley Phelps has three for the Olympians. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Uh, Jumpstart your future, that's gmtcc.lnsd.org. Applications now open for any GMTCC program, including Allied Health, Business Administration, Construction Technology, Culinary Arts, uh, Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems, Exploratory Pre-Technology, and a bunch of others. So. It's on this day in 1973, Tennessee beat Temple 11 to six in a basketball game. Just an offensive explosion right there. 11 to six. Christensen back out to Tessa. Tessa over to Isabel. Davison. Inside. And we got a turn. We got a uh, foul called on. Foul called on Julia de Grosier for a push in the back. Turns the ball over. Looks like Randy's called off the press. We were pressing the entire first quarter. Looks like he's settling him back and just playing defense right now. Spear looking to back in. Nice dishes it off. Here's Ellsworth. And Phelps back over. There's Phelps. Bradley Phelps, freshman. Spear ducks underneath, puts up a shot, doesn't go. Comes Caitlin. Flips it out. Christensen can't get the three pointer to go. Rebound, Phelps, but turnover. Davison right there. Looks like it's like there's a cover on the hoop for both teams right now. Everybody getting shots inside. Nobody can really get them to fall. Let's see if Ellsworth can. She can. Ellsworth, six points for the sophomore. Makes it a 13 9 game. Olympians within four. 644 left to go here in the first half. Davison, drive. A lot of bodies under there. Haley Mitchell and Sarah Collier check in. Caitlin's going to get a breather, as is Tessa, the barefoot contesta. Christensen will inbound from underneath the Hazen basket. And tipped out by Spear. Blocked out, Spear again. Dave Cowan's move right there. I remember we seeing Dave Cowan's doing that back in the day. Show my age. Cowan's, of course, longtime center for the Celtics. And had red hair. Davison dips underneath, ball stuck. 
Jump ball, possession arrow gives the ball to Oxbow. We need somebody rather tall. I believe we have Tyler Rivard coming down, skies up. Piece of cake. Makes it look easy. Spear brings the ball up. This is off to Koslowski. Here's Ellsworth. Want to get the ball to Phelps. Defense right there, man. We're playing some great D. Looking ahead for Gowan. Alexis is looking ahead for Gowan. Let her a little, just a tiny bit too far. Six ten left to go in the first half. Cats up four still. 13-9. Phelps gives it back to Ellsworth. Looking for Spear. Back over here. Koslowski. Push. That will call on Sarah Collier. Koslowski underneath the inbounds. Looking to get it in. Nobody really wants it. Maybe we haven't had a travel or a jump. Now well, we get a jump ball. And position arrow gives the ball to the Olympians. Christensen on the steal. Alexis drives inside. And draws the foul. Foul called on Braley Phelps. Christensen sinks her first free throw. Christensen, second shot, good. 15-9, your score, 542 left to go in the first half. Cats up. Oxbow hanging tough. Natalie Spear went out of the game early, came back in. And we got a carry. Lost her dribble, got a carry. Right. Gillespie looking inside, broken up by Spear. Spear for a freshman, and really got a good nose for the ball. Ellsworth can't get the shot to fall. Ellsworth again, still can't get it to fall. Bodies on the floor. Backing in, turnaround, off, still can't get it. Just a tough night shooting inside, really, for both teams. Gillespie can't hit. Ellsworth, nice pass to Spear. Spear, four white jerseys right there. There's got to be somebody open. Spear back. Over to Phelps, here's Ellsworth. Drive inside, puts up a shot. Nothing there. Foul called on uh, Panatzer. I can't remember a game where I've seen both teams just not be able to buy a basket from inside like this. I mean, every, both teams are working it inside well. There's uh, Christensen inside, can't get it to go. Ties up with Spear. And both teams are, you know, when you're doing everything right and getting a nice inside shot, you still can't get it to go. What do you do? I don't know. Back out and rain down threes? Beats me. That's why we sit up here and there down there, right, Jim? Davison wants to try inside. Nothing. Tie up underneath. 
So we got 4-12 left to go in the first half. Score is still 15-9. Despite the fact that both of these teams are working the ball beautifully inside and just can't get anything to drop through the net. Spear directing traffic cross court. Kozlowski. And we're going to have a foul called and Kozlowski is going to go to the line. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. That's her second. We'll see if we can make some points from the free throw line. 3.54 left to go here in the first half. Yeah. The ball does go through the hoop for Noel Kozlowski. Makes it 15-10. This is on her second one. Rebound, Phelps. Back out to Spear, over to Ellsworth. Ellsworth wanted, wants to take a three. Hit the top of the basket. They're calling out of bounds. Here's Caitlin. Swings it over. Christensen, the A to the B of the Christensen connection. Doesn't go. Jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Olympians. Coach Lumsden wants a timeout with 3.30 left to go here in the first half. And Oxbow's hanging tough. Score is 15 to 10. And uh, just you know, both teams are playing hard. They're playing good out here and working inside and just having a tough time getting shots to fall. Let's see. It was on this day in uh, 1974, Young Frankenstein was released in theaters. If you've never seen Young Frankenstein, it's a classic black and white horror comedy. Now, the members of Aerosmith were recording that day, uh, I don't know if it was the day, but soon after they went and saw Young Frankenstein. And there's a very funny scene where I believe Marty Feldman and uh, was playing Igor, and who's the other guy? I can't think of his name now. Anyway, they were leading him through, and the one guy had a limp, and he's going, walk this way, walk this way. And the guys in Aerosmith heard that phrase, and the rest is rock and roll history. Probably one of their bigger early hits from, from when, they, when they were a true rock band. You know, the down and dirty rock and roll band from Boston. And Walk This Way was born from a screening of Young Frankenstein. And there's a shot goes. Um, I'm going to give that to Koslowski. I believe it was her. She got my second, third attempt. And a uh, bunch, you know, she got a rebound, got a rebound, got a rebound. Tested, man, doesn't drop. And they're going to call it travel. It was Gene Wilder who played Dr. Frankenstein in that movie. And Feldman played Igor. Yes, Terry Gar was in it. Foul called on Alexis Christensen. Uh, cats have gone over the limit, so we'll be shooting one and once. Spear, front end of the one and one. Her first points of the night for the freshman. Cuts the lead to two. Chance to close and make it a one point game. Spear. Can't get the second one to go, but up with the, up with the uh, 
Rebound was Oxwell, couldn't get it to go. 235 left to go here in the first half. Cats with just a two point lead now. Oxbow clawing back. Tessa underneath draws the foul. Another name from that movie. Foul called on uh, Braley Phelps, her second. Cloris Leachman was in that movie, played Frau Blucher. Yes. Tessa. I always loved that. Every time they said Frau Blucher, the horses whinnied. Tessa, second shot, doesn't go. But Tessa has three, uh, puts the lead back up to three now. 2.20 left to go here in the first half as Jim and I wax nostalgic about young Frankenstein. Three-pointer taken by Phelps, doesn't go. Rebound. And great second effort by Maggie Ellsworth. It's a one-point game for the Cats. And Christensen up. Alexis Christensen, there's a big hoop. Puts the lead back up to three. From what I've seen, at least down on the Oxbow end, we are not really controlling the boards. And I don't think Kozlowski saw that one. Oxbow's getting a lot of second, third, fourth attempts down here on their, uh, on their end when they're on offense. Three-point lead for your Lady Cats with 140 left to go here in the first, cat, first half. 18-15 is the score. Christensen. Drops back, Gillespie. Back over, too high. Tessa can't handle that one. Coach Lumsden not happy. 129 left to go in the first half. There's Natalie Spear. Gets it to Ellsworth. Ellsworth drive inside, puts the ball up front of the hoop, rebound Hazen. Caitlin. Caitlin puts up a soft shot, doesn't go. Hazen will retain possession, 110 left. Alexis on the inbounds, gets it into Caitlin. Caitlin, spin move, had a shot for a moment, pitches back. Christensen for the three, doesn't go. Ball was halfway down the cylinder. 55 left to go. 55 seconds, that is. 50 seconds here in the first half. Oxbow with a chance to tie with a three. See if they go for the three or go for the two. Ellsworth drives inside, puts it up off the glass. Nice shot. Maggie Ellsworth makes it a one-point game with 42 seconds. 40 seconds left to go here in the first half. Caitlin. Passes back over. Tessa. Here's Alexis Christensen inside, driving, throws up a shot, draws a foul. <laughs> foul called on Natalie Spear, her first. Christensen rolls that one in, extends the lead to two with 27.7. Chance to bump it to three. Right there. Six points for Alexis Christensen. Makes it a three-point lead for your Lady Cats. 22 seconds and ticking down. Natalie Spear gets it over, looking for Phelps. Phelps comes up with it back to Spear. Over to Ellsworth. We've seen Ellsworth make some nice drives. Davidson on her. Goes underneath the hoop, steps out. Steps on the line. 10 seconds left. Davison drives inside, throws up the shot. Beautiful move by Caitlin Davison to give the Cats a five point lead to end the first half, 22-17. Just a nice move, great ball game here tonight at the Den. I'm telling you, you guys gotta come out if you haven't, you know, 
Yes, the boys play great. The girls play just as good. Come out and watch them play. You're watching Hayes and Lady Cat basketball here on HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call. Jim on camera. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. We'll see you at the start of the second half. All right, we're back. Uh, second half action about to start here at the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. As your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Oxbow Olympians tonight, uh, leading by a score of 22 17. Been a uh, hard fought match between both teams. Lance Hall with the call for HDTV, channel 1080 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Jim on camera. See what happens here in the second half. Uh, first half scoring, we had Isabel Gallon with two, Tessa Luther with three, Alexis Christensen with six, uh, Caitlin Davison had seven, Ella Gillespie two, Haley Mitchell two for Oxbow. It was Maggie Ellsworth with ten, Natalie Spear with one, Braley Phelps with three, and Noel Kozlowski. The two, and I believe that was Caitlin. Was it Caitlin? It was Caitlin. It's opening up the second half scoring action here. Push the lead back up to seven. Uh, Laxwell chipped it down to one or two there for a little bit. Shot and a foul. All right, basket's good. Says Jason Premont, foul called, and I'm trying to get the number here. She's got her, she's turned her side to me. Foul was on Alexis, that's her second. Looks like Libby Swift had that hoop. Yeah, it was Libby Swift with the hoop. Tessa working against Bourgeois. Over to Alexis Christensen. Spears been a tough defender. Partially blocked, I think, by Swift. Here's Tessa with a shot. Rebound Swift. Battling for it is Alexis. Swift's got about a foot and a half on Alexis. Here's a long shot, long three off the back of the rim. Swift is going to rebound. Going in to tie it up is Alexis. I mean, uh, Caitlin. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. Here's Spear. Koslowski looks to get the ball to Ellsworth, taken away by Davison. Davison shot and a foul. Ellsworth down. Coming back up. Caitlin with the basket. Chance to make the three pointer the old fashioned way. Ellsworth's going to come out, and Braley Phelps is going in. Caitlin rolls it in. 12 points now for the junior. Here's Spear working on Tessa. Spin, drive, throws up a shot, doesn't go, a foul. Foul called on Tessa Luther. It's gonna send Natalie Spear to the line, shooting two with 6.34 left to go here in a third. 27-19, your score. In and out. Seen a lot of that on both ends of the court tonight. It's 
Spear, second shot, roll, does roll in. Christensen working on Spear, back out to Tessa. Caitlin over to Alexis, drop inside for Caitlin. Turn around, four jerseys right there, four purple jerseys. There's Christensen trying to work inside. Tessa going to take a three and make a three. The barefoot Contessa pushes the lead to 10 now. I don't know what the guys were doing over there. Looked like they were like in a sculling crew or something. That was pretty cool. There's a three launched by Bourgeois. Doesn't go. Rebound up and underneath. Mitchett comes up with it over to Caitlin. Caitlin gonna drive, scoop and shot. Caitlin Davison, 14 now, seven in each half. Cats back up to a 12 point lead. Christensen gets the ball. Tessa, easy basket. Jake Phelps wants a timeout as the Cats have come out and extended their lead to 14 points here with 5.16 left to go here in the third period. Caitlin Davison putting on a show here in the second half. Seven points already. Oh, let's see, it was on this day in 1980 that uh, baseball player Dave Winfield became the highest, played, highest paid player in baseball. Scored a 10-year contract for 15 mil. Highest paid. That's in 1980. What did, what did Judge just sign for? Like a billion dollars, you know? Imagine that. For 15 mil, he might be able to carry Aaron Judge's travel bag, you know, when he goes on the road. Spear, looking around, taken away by Christensen. Spear and Christensen, Dad, are gonna have a tie up. Spear and Tessa. Possession arrow gives the ball to Oxbow. Bourgeois on the inbounds. Gets it back to Spear. Spear loses her dribble, tries to get it back, gets it back. Back out, Bourgeois is looking over for Phelps, taken away by Davison. Gatlin. Olympians just have no answer for Caitlin Davison right now. Spear inside, Swift back out. Three second call. Turns the ball over. <laughs> Davison. She's found the hoop. And Jake Phelps wants another timeout as Caitlin Davison continues to just wreck havoc with this Olympics team. I mean, Caitlin had seven in the first half. She's got uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. A total of 18 right now. And uh, she has found a way to put the ball in the hoop here tonight. Uh, let's see, once again, uh, consolation and championship game of the Dave Morris Classic has been moved to this coming Saturday. Uh, that I believe that is Saturday the 17th. Consolation game between Williamstown and Randolph will be tipped off at 5.30. Then we're going to have a huge homecoming here. All the championship teams from all the years coming in for the unfurling of the banner from last year's championship uh, in between games. And then we'll have the championship game between our Hazen Union Wildcats and the Lamoille Lancers. Lady Cats return here to the Den on Monday the 19th to host the Richford Falcons. And then I believe it is the... Uh, I believe the boys host Stowe on Tuesday. The girls are back on Wednesday and the boys are back on Thursday. I know we got four games next week. Hope nobody gets tired of my voice. Uh, 
Ellsworth back in. Foul called on Spear, trying to set the uh, screen. Here's Christensen. Tessa drops it over Davison. Christensen over to Tessa. They barefoot Contessa gets it to Caitlin Davison. Inside. Julia DeGrosier turnaround. Up and over. Cats have found the basket here in the third quarter. 3.53 left to go. Cats up 20. Ellsworth throws a three up. Nothing but nets. They give it up. They're they didn't give her the three. Uh, Coach Jake Phelps with a warning whether he had wandered on the court too much or not. They gave her a two. Okay, they did give her a two. All right. So it was Ellsworth with the two, I think. I got messed up on the warning. I'm pretty sure it was Ellsworth that had the two. I thought it was a three. I thought she was behind the line. Ellsworth shot again. 40-22. Caitlin inside, stop short. Ball inside, knocked out. Three minutes left to go in the third. Cats up 40-24, but we've seen Oxbow come back too. They were down quite a bit in the first half. Inside, Julia de Grosier gets fouled. called on Braley Phelps, her third. Julia a little strong on the first one. Second shot, doesn't go, rebound. It's Kane Fuller with the rebound. Ellsworth looking up for Spear, a little hot. A little hot on the pass. Wide open for the three is Christensen off the rim. Inside, Ellsworth comes up with a rebound. Ellsworth looking to go, oh, nice pass, Spear, short, in for the rebound, Fuller knocked away by Mitchett, I think she's going to be called on a foul. Hailstorm, Haley Mitchett to send uh, Kane Fuller to the line, shooting two. of shots. Isabel Gowan checks in. Tessa's going to come out. Kozlowski's going to come in and Bourgeois comes out. Fuller awaits her second shot from the line. 
doesn't get it. Rebound, Julia the girls here over to Caitlin. Caitlin with Ellsworth on her, gets it to Isabel, over to Alexis. Caitlin, three pointer, doesn't go. Caitlin tries to follow shot and rebound. Haley, Mitchett gets it to go, doesn't go. The girls are inside. I thought that went through the hoop. I honestly thought that ball dropped through the hoop. Ellsworth, short shot blocked by Caitlin Davison. Perfectly timed. Caitlin dips underneath, can't make, can't get the layup up. Spear. Girls running now. Fuller underneath. Puts up the shot. Goes. Kane Fuller with three points. 125 left to go here in the third. Cats up 40-27. Little seven-point run. Randy wants a timeout. So a little seven-point run here for uh, Oxbow with 122 left to go here in the third. So Lady Cats uh, come in with a record of one and one. They lost on the road to Enosburg and beat Danville here at the Den the other night. Uh, Oxwell's played one game and a victory over Blue Mountain Union High School. So they come in with a record of one and zero. Oh. <laughs> Isabel Gowan on the inbounds with 122 left to go here in the third. Caitlin, over to Alexis, spear on her. Call spear on a block, uh, Jason Premont. I rarely, I rarely say anything about the officials. I don't know, a little ticky tack, I think. Spear. Over to Ellsworth. Shot. Strong by Kozlowski. Double dribble. Kane Fuller with the double dribble. 51.3 left to go in the third. Cats up 40 27. Cats looking to get a hoop and held scoreless here for a little bit. Not that we haven't gotten the ball inside, but. What happens? Kane Fuller with a rebound. Ellsworth. 35 seconds, lots of time. Caitlin, steal. Picks Ellsworth's pocket over to Isabel Gowan. Blocked. Nice job, Nat. Blocked by Natalie Spear. <laughs> Christensen. Back to Davison, knocked out by Ellsworth. Davison gets it. Nice job, Ellsworth had a hand on it. Isabel. Cats, 13, 12 seconds, running some clock. DeGrosier takes a shot. Julia DeGrosier, freshman, has four points now. Four seconds left. Gonna have to hurry. Shot up, I, it doesn't go, I think it was late anyway. And at the end of three, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats up by score 42-27 over a game. Alex, Oxbow Olympian team here. These girls are hanging tough in there. This is just a great, great basketball game once again. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC Jumpstart Your Future. Jim on camera. Good game so far. Real good game. Uh, let's see. In the second half, Tessa had five points. Caitlin Davison, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. I believe that's all our scoring for the second half. Uh, for Oxbow, Maggie Ellsworth has had four. Natalie Spears had one. This is all incredibly unofficial.
bowling shoe ugly official is my scorekeeping. So, so. Good game. Good game. Folks, come out and watch the ladies play as well. We always pack the house for the girls, but I'll tell you what. It, I mean, we pack the house for the boys, but it, these girls play hard. Both these teams are out here giving it all they got. Nice to see. Lily Degush in now for the Olympians. First time we've seen her on the floor tonight. Christensen dips inside amongst a bunch of purple jerseys. Her first points of the second half. 7.40 left to go in the game. Ellsworth back out, shot. It'll be a two-pointer if it goes. Doesn't go. Rebound. Hayes and Tessa coming up. Christensen. Bounce over to girls. here. back out to Davison. Davison thought about taking a three. Ellsworth right there. Uh, Alexis will take a three. Doesn't go. Rebound Hazen. Uh, rebound to Oxbow. There's Ellsworth. Nice pass inside. Fuller. Turn around against Mitchell. Fuller backs in. Puts up a shot. Doesn't drop though. Missed shot, rebound Phelps. Ellsworth puts up a rainbow, doesn't go. Rebound Julia DeGrosier. Caitlin Davison comes up. 6.20 left to go in the game. Up ahead, Alexis all alone. Alexis Christensen makes it a 46 27 game. Natalie Spear getting ready to check back in for the Olympians. And so is. Uh, Anastas Bourgeois. <laughs> Foul called on Caitlin. Her first tonight. Going to send Ellsworth to the line. 6.02 left to go in the game. Cats up 46-27. Ellsworth short on the first one. Bunch of subs coming in. Lily Swift comes in. Uh, Natalie Spear and Bourgeois comes in. Haley Mitchell comes out. And uh, looks like Ella Gillespie went in. Ellsworth shoot her second free throw. And that's that one. 46 28. Your score. Six minutes left to go in the game. Steal Ellsworth. Nice pass over Spear. Beautiful. Nice play by the Olympians. Makes it a 16 point lead. Cuts the lead to 16. Rebound to Grozier. Back out. Oh, Spear had a hand on it. I'll tell you, Spear for a freshman is just a great, gritty player. As I like to say, she's one of these people that bring their lunchbox with them when they come to play basketball. They're out there working, working hard. Fuller backing in again against Gillespie. Can't get it to drop. Tessa comes up with a rebound. Christensen, Caitlin, top of the key inside, Julia. Swift right with her. Back to Davison. Here's Tessa. Cats. Caitlin drive. Doesn't go. I tell you, if, if both teams had even half their shots dropped that they've gotten from inside, this game would be like, you know, 80 to 60. You know, both teams have just haven't been able to, at times, seemingly been able to buy a shot inside, despite being right there for him. 
Spear. Over to Fuller. Spear on inbounds over on the far side. Into Ellsworth. Open lane right there for the shot. She can't get it to go. What do you do, you know? Shot swift. Doesn't drop. Rebound Hazen. Here's Tess at top of the key. Cats moving the ball around. Eating some clock. Davison, short shots, doesn't go. Rebound, Fuller. And I believe they're gonna call Ella for going over the back. All right, calling her for a hold. That'll send Fuller to the line as the Cats are over the limits. So Fuller will get the shot at a one and one here with 3.57 left to go in the game. Cats up 46 to 30. Fuller nails the front end of the one and one. Gives her four points on the night. Bradley Phillips checks in. Ellsworth gonna come out. Maggie's played well. 17 points. Fuller good on her second one. Three forty-five left to go to game. Cats up forty-six thirty-two. Swings inside. Christensen cuts. Wow. Nice move. Gets the hoop and the foul. Twelve for Alexis tonight. Foul called on Libby Swift. Her first. Christensen. Misses a free throw. Here comes Spraley Phelps. Inside. Taken away from Fuller by Christensen. Christensen up. Spear on her. It's been fun watching Natalie Spear and Alexis Christensen play tonight. Still going at it out there. Davison comes up with that almost taken away by Oxbow. Cats eating clock. Christensen takes a shot, makes a shot. 14 for Alexis. Phelps with a miss. Fuller with a miss. Phelps puts it in. Bradley Phelps. Good effort there by the Olympians. Sticking with the rebounds. 50-34. Gillespie puts up a shot off the side of the hoop. Comes Phelps again. Bourgeois, three-pointer. Anastas Bourgeois, 50-37, 145 left. Christensen, nice cut to the back. 16 points for the senior. Let's 
Phelps, Tessa on her. Kozlowski. Hand check. Called on Julia DeGroslier. And that will send Kozlowski to the line, shooting the front end of a one and one. Caitlin and Alexis come off. Uh, Caitlin, let's see, Alexis had like 16. Caitlin's got two, four, six, eight, eight, 18. Unofficially, unofficially. Kozlowski misses the front end of the one and one. Phelps chases the rebound down. Phelps wants to take a three. Didn't quite get it. Sarah Collier with a rebound. And there goes the chance to warm up the bus. At least they waited for a minute and 10 left in a game tonight. The other night it was three minutes left before they got that. Phelps gets it over to Spear. One minute to play in the game. Cats up 52 37. So the Cats will push their record to 2 and 1. Drop Oxbow to 1 and 1. Lady Cats will be hosting Richford here on Monday. And Coach Jake Phelps wants a timeout with 50 seconds left. And the Cats up 52-37. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080. On your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jim on camera. Uh, let's see, one last a couple of bits of trivia here. Alan Freed was born on this day in 1921. The man who coined the phrase rock and roll. And also born on this day in 1946, Carmine Apice. Uh, famous drummer, played with Vanilla Fudge, uh, played with Rod Stewart. I have had the privilege of interviewing him twice. Uh, really, really cool Italian, old school Italian. Uh, he grew up in Brooklyn. He'll tell you, you know, played in some of those mafia places back in the day when he was coming up. Co-wrote a couple of songs with Rod Stewart that were huge hits. Do You Think I'm Sexy, Young Turks, he co-wrote those. Turn around and up. Really cool. A lot of history. A lot of history when you're talking to that man. Lily Goose puts a shot up. Rebound, Gillespie. Collier loses the ball. I'll put up a shameless plug for myself. If you ever want to hear any of these interviews that I talked about, just, you know, to... See if they're really there. Go to my YouTube page. It's called Let's Discuss with Lance Hall. Check out all the interviews I've done. Fascinating conversations I've had with some great, great musicians. Shot up, doesn't go. Rebound, Swift. Swift puts up the shot, still can't go. I tell you, these two, it's been a tough, tough night shooting inside for both teams. And that's going to run it down. And it's a 52-37 final tonight as your Hazen Union Lady Cats push their record to 2-1 to one with a hard-fought victory over a scrappy, tough Oxbow Olympian team. They came in here tonight and just played tough from start to finish. So Lance Hall with the call for HGTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera will be back Saturday night for the final championship game of the Dave Morse Classic, which will be pitting our Hazen Union Wildcat boys against the Lemoyle Lancers. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.